That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh what is up guys, welcome back to another brand new video. I've been busy, videos ain't been coming out nearly as much, I'm sorry. As you can see, I'm constantly editing. I'm editing and editing my videos, other people's videos, helping people, help teach them how to edit with uh, different programs and stuff and uh, just been really hectic. But today we got a pretty cool video. It's like Christmas, Christmas came early today, fellas. So we got a few things to go over. Uh, this will be like the last um, review on this channel because Ken and I are kicking off our review channel. Even though this isn't really a review, it's just like a, a what I got type of shit video. You know, we're just going to go over these things that I got here. Uh, again, this is not a review. All the reviews will be done on the new KGB channel that uh, Ken and I are about to launch. So this will be like the last type of review channel. Everything else is just going to be tools and bullshit with you guys. So uh, without further ado, let's get the fuck into it. So first things first, we're gonna get into this. This is a 3H drive stud, 3H drive stud extractor. Jesus Christ, I can't even spit it out right. Uh, this is a very simple tool, yet very handy tool. You guys know I love my handy tools. So this one here is simply for, um, you know, you have uh, exhaust manifold studs, regular exhaust studs, or any type of fastener up to five eighths. This has a five eighths opening on the end. Uh, it does take a 3H drive on this end and then a 21 millimeter. So you simply open this up wide enough to go over the stud. You tighten it down and then with the 20, you tighten it down with the 21 millimeter and then you take your 3H drive ratchet and you go ahead and proceed to ratchet in the offward direction, so to speak. Offward is that whatever it is. It's a word today. How about that? Like it or leave it. And then uh, it removes the uh, stud or fastener, whichever, whichever you can fit this thing on. Uh, great tool, man. These things are like $90 in the tool truck. Mayhew makes it. It's like $70 to $90 depending on where you got it. I got this one, which seems to be the same, just no brand on it or anything, from AutoZone for $12. For $12. And I've used it a few times already and it works great. No complaints yet. How long it'll hold up for? I don't know. There seems to, there's springs and stuff in here. Uh, I don't know if like the Mayhew is a better quality, if this is the same as the Mayhew, rebranded or what. But so far, so good for 12 bucks, like sunburned dick, you can't beat it. All right, moving right along. We have Snap-on's uh, digital LCD circuit tester. This does six and 12 volts. It has an LCD readout on it. Uh, I'll read you guys the specs right off the package or the, the goodies right off the package. It says, digital LCD circuit tester, six and 12 volt. Used to detect voltage, power, ground, and circuit integrity. LCD provides a no-guess voltage value of the circuit. Pretty cool. Doesn't say pretty cool. Uh, backlit LED glows red for power and green for ground. Pretty standard. Doesn't say that either. Uh, patented clear instinct handle for style and comfort. We all love that instinct handle. I love it. It's great. You know what I mean? Uh, computer safe. For use with airbags they stress that not for use with airbags don't use this with airbags you might have one deploy in your face and fuck that already fucked up grill up even more uh, let's open her up now this does doesn't stay on the package but I have checked it out this does have a seven foot cable on it and it does seem to be serviceable so you have your pretty little snap-on logo there this unscrews and the circuitry comes out of it, circuitry, circuit board, whichever you prefer. So you take that off and the circuit board with the LCD on it and everything comes out in one piece. Um, these are like 70 bucks, so I imagine you're paying $65 for this and then $5 for this. This is ridiculous. I would never ever pay $70 for a test light because we all know that a simple $5 test light will work. Hell, a, a headlight wired up will work. You know what I mean? Uh, New Level Auto, Keith, will show you guys all sorts of different ways to use test lights as I'm about to break this already. Um, 
he show he'll show you the difference between regular test lights and incandescent test lights. You know, he, he watch his channel. He goes over all that stuff. Very very smart guy. Very intelligent. Uh, make sure to check out his channel. So as I'm attempting to get this back in here, it is a very nice test light, but no way could you ever justify what the fuck justify paying seventy dollars for this. There's just no way whatsoever. Um, it's you know it's nice it looks the part but again uh you know it's 70 dollars for a test light that's uh no there we go no bueno just don't do it i mean i got this one for 30 or 40 bucks because i had a duplicate three quarter inch drive socket and it was brand new and my snap-on rep is pretty cool so he was like oh, i'll take it off your hands give you credit for what it was worth and it was a it was a uh, I forget, I think it was like a 7 8 three quarter inch drive socket. And it was like 40 bucks. So yeah, so this would have been like 30 bucks. So that's pretty neat. And it's got a durable uh, clip on it here for your ground or your power because this does both. Um, and yeah, so I haven't used this one yet, but this one's gonna be the at work one and then my other one, which is very similar without the LCD, is gonna come home to be part of my home kit. Now, before we get into the good box, I want to go over this right here. These are the PWZ ones. Yes, we all know I have them already, but Bruce, why'd you get another pair? Well, that's simple. All right, so as we know, I do have a Patreon account, okay? And I do have Patreons. Uh, although my rewards program is slacking quite a bit because I haven't had a chance to really put up any real rewards or anything. So I wanted to do something to give back to my Patreons while I'm trying to figure out a rewards program. Uh, I am doing a giveaway. It's going to be Wednesday or Friday and I'm going to pick uh, one of the Patreons. I'm going to do some sort of drawing or something. I don't know yet, but Wednesday or Friday will be the drawing for this. And some one of my Patreons, one lucky person will get these for free. No. No questions asked, shipping and handling charge, not Bruce Allen Express either. These will ship rather quickly. Yeah, so someone's gonna be happy. These are a great, great set of pliers. Uh, if you guys, any of you guys do alignment work or whatever, these are the best pliers for alignment work, hands down. Uh, Bill actually turned me on to these. I didn't even know they existed, and then I seen him using them for alignment, so I was like, yo, what are those? They just look cool. And then uh, I seen them and I tried them, I really liked them. So then I got the big pair and I got one other pair, I believe. And man, I love these things. These things are great. I believe they're rebranded and company Baco makes them, which I think Snap-on owns Baco too. Again, that's Garnett's department. He knows all the rebranded stuff. He knows who owns what and so on and so forth. This here has a simple little jam nut style thing and that allows you to adjust your, the size opening of the, uh, I'm gonna call it a mouth roar of the mouth here to uh, grab onto whatever it is you're grabbing on. That's those. Now, as far as Christmas, Christmas came early today. I had to open it because I wanted to see what it was. I thought it was what it was. And man, I'll tell you what, this is pretty cool, man. For, let's just get into it. So we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna open this up. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Take that out. The suspense is killing you guys, I know. Take that out. Oh. All right. It is the new launch 229. All right. This thing's pretty badass. Now, depending on where you get it from, uh, I believe they range from 400 to $600. Again, all depends where it comes from. Uh, I will look for this and find the cheapest price I can find and put it in the description in the videos because as you guys all know that if you plan on shopping on Amazon, use one of the links in my description just to get to Amazon. It's one of the tool links. Any one of the tool links there will bring you to Amazon. If you ever plan on doing any shopping on Amazon, please use one of my tool links to get there. You do not have to buy anything in the list. Just use the link to get there and shop as you normally would and that significantly helps me and it tells me who, who did it and uh, I really appreciate it. It you know it helps out a lot because all this gear and stuff is expensive, so it's it's really nice. It's really nice to have the extra help. So let's open her up. Well, first let's read some of the let's read some of the things. Okay, features here. Uh, Android-based five-inch color touchscreen, Wi-Fi enabled for third-party apps. That's cool. You can go on the internet and download all sorts of games and apps on this as well. 
Access all vehicle systems for read and clear codes and live data. This does have graphing capabilities, pretty cool. Graph up to four PIDs of live data. Um, if you guys don't know, PIDs are parameter IDs, so it, everything is pretty much a PID. You can go in and you could check the, temp, the coolant temperature, go right into the coolant temperature sensor, and that's a PID. Check the uh, temperature of the coolant, oil temperature, all those are PIDs, and you can go in there and check them out and see where everything's at, match your data up, see what's what. Basically, really, with PIDs alone, you don't even need a code most of the time. You could just match your PIDs up, and if you know where, if you know the specs of where everything's supposed to be at, you can pretty much figure out your problem without a code you know i'm still learning a lot with diagnostics i love it it's by far my favorite part of the automotive field there's just so much to learn it's never ending but it's it's so much fun so first off in the box we have this little space taker upper okay all right so it comes with this uh oh wait let's see what other features we got oh here we go i didn't finish reading this i'm sorry uh, graph up the four pids of light data, uh, perform oil light resets, electronic parking brake reset, electronic brake pad reset. These are good for like the BMWs and Mercedes where you have to electronically spin in the calipers or put it into service mode. Um, Bill and I were actually just talking about that, that if you don't put calipers into service mode, certain ones, and something happens and the caliper goes to set itself and it's not in service mode, it will crush and take your finger right off. So that's not good. Uh, steering angle resets, that's good for after you do alignments, you wanna reset the steering angle sensor. Uh, battery registration, as we all know, you have to program new batteries for like the BMWs and stuff. You have to now register the battery to the vehicle. That's crazy, isn't it? You can't just swap out a battery anymore. Comes with standard OBD2 16 pin connector, Mercedes Benz 38 pin connector, and BMW 20 pin connectors. Also, you can guys can purchase the other aftermarket uh, connectors as well. Not aftermarket, but Launch makes a, a whole set up, a whole set of uh, connectors. But for the most part, you'll be using your OBD2. But sometimes you do run into these where you need the connectors. Rugged padded storage case and uh all right let's see the specification screen five inch tft lcd display input voltage 9 to 15 volts connection 16 pin dlc operating temperature 0 to 40 degrees celsius which is 32 to 104 degrees fahrenheit 104 degrees well storage temp negative the uh negative 20 degrees to 70 degrees celsius which is negative 4 degrees fahrenheit to negative 158 fahrenheit External dimensions, 9.2 inches by 4 inches by 1.4 inches, weight 1.3 pounds. It's pretty heavy. It feels nice. It feels very well built. It, you know, it's, it's all right. All right, so first, we're going to pull out this monstrosity. This is your data cable right off the bat. It's got a power supply, too, for regular OBD. Uh, you need to supply power because unlike OBD2, it does not supply power for you. You need to get an external source, 12 volt, 12 volt source. So this here looks like uh, computer connectors for VGA, but they're not. So here's the OBD2 connector, and this simply plugs into the unit, and then you plug in your connector here for whichever uh, system you will be using. So you have those two things. Uh, you have a charging, a USB charging port, which the OBD2 charges it as well too. Uh, here's the BMW connector, big and hefty. I think it tells you too, yeah, BMW 20 pin. So it does label what connectors they are on all of their connectors. Uh, little uh, reference guide, quick reference sheet. I think that's it for that. Okay, there's the charging cable for the USB adapter. This is also your data cable. And in case you guys didn't know, with launch scan tools, their updates are free all of the time. I don't know about their big mammer jammers, their big ones. Uh, you can ask Frank M Tech because he's like the pro with the big launches. I think he's got a few of them. But I know like these ones here, updates are free every year. You don't have to pay for any updates, which is really great and saves you a lot of money. This here is the Mercedes-Benz connector. That thing's huge. Uh, this is actually a re, uh, they, they updated the style of this for their launch lineup. This used to look a lot different 
And I actually kind of like this now. So you just plug it in and out. I don't know, I don't know. You know what I mean. And last but not least, boy, this thing feels this thing feels nice. It's it's pretty big, you know, like it's pretty big. Oh, it's upside down. Uh, pretty pretty self-explanatory. There's not a lot going on here for as far as buttons because remember, guys, it is touchscreen. Uh, it does come with screen protectors and stuff on it, which I'm gonna leave on. Now this does have that. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's called Q something. I don't know. Again, Frank M Tech knows because he sells these to his customers. Uh, it's an individual unit you buy that plugs into the customer's OBD2 port and it stays in there if I'm not mistaken and if they ever have a problem they can call you and then you can connect to their car via your scan tool no matter where they're at. I believe it goes over Wi-Fi or something. I forget exactly how it communicates but it's pretty neat because then the customer's in the know all the time and uh, it's good for them, it's good for your business. Uh, and it's pretty cool because you could sell the OBD2 dongle to as many customers as you want and they're not very expensive and the dongle comes with a subscription so I know it is subscription based for the customer I don't know about for you but I don't know Frank M Tech would know and if he sees this leave a comment in the, in the comment section below Frank uh, also to Frank I did not forget I just haven't had time to get back thank you for the happy Father's Day wishes that was very nice of you and very kind I will get back to you and thank you in person I do appreciate it so turning this on, uh, it does have a quick load, a quick boot up option, meaning that it, you don't have to wait. Like right now, it just booted right up, okay? And then you slide to unlock and it's booted up. You can make it so that it, you know, I, I'm pretty sure this uses battery power, but you can conserve battery power by taking it off the quick startup mode. Like I'm pretty sure when you press this, it just puts it to sleep. It doesn't even actually shut it off, shut it off. So. Uh, if you're looking to conserve power and you want to keep this in your car, whatever you want to do, which this isn't really keeping your car scan tool. This is a pretty professional scan tool. Uh, it does a lot. You know, this this is probably a keep in your toolbox. It's pretty cool though because it looks like it does have some mounting uh, brackets in the back here. I wonder what that's about, like what you can mount it to. Uh, also, it looks like it's got a camera or some sort of maybe like a infrared I don't know I don't know what that is I'll have to check actually we can look in the the quick diagram real quick I wonder if it tells us probably not no it just says speaker there are two slots for speakers back here I'm not going to go into the all close up because I'm saving that for the the uh, KGB review channel that's going to be for the review this is just simply uh, just to show you guys oh look at that it's on Google so you do have full internet access you do have full access. It's it's Android based, so it works just like just like your cell phone does. Uh, you do have full access to your if you hit home there to your Play Store, all that. And the the touch screen. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm off the camera. The touch screen is actually very sensitive. I'm sorry, I couldn't go that way. It's very responsive, as you guys can see here. It works every time. It's not some Mickey Mouse touchscreen system that doesn't work. And it's crazy because this glass is kind of thick. So it's not like your cell phone or anything. It doesn't seem like it would break easy. I don't know if it's like a Gorilla Glass or what. But uh, in the hands, this thing's it's one point some pounds. You know, like it's durable. It, it, it feels the part. Like I'm actually really impressed with it. And I can't wait to put this to use. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's nice to have a second scanner. Uh, so this one I will be keeping at home and then the uh, the Autel will be coming back to work finally. Uh, I just have to get it back from my, I guess, brother-in-law. Yeah, so I'll have a home scanner now as well. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for this video. I appreciate you guys stay, sticking around the whole time and watching. Um, you know, again, I'm sorry I've been busy with the editing, as you can see. And, uh, you know, that that's my only excuse. You know, Ken and I are working pretty hard to get these these videos up and going I've been slacking but I'm gonna really start pushing them out uh, and we've got so much new cool equipment to make these videos top top quality uh, you guys are gonna be very stoked you guys are gonna like the quality you guys are gonna love everything about the videos at least I'm hoping you will if you don't always no hard no fall hit that thumbs down button I don't care uh, this way here and then also if you do leave a reason justifying why you did so that we can fix it and make it a better channel for everybody That's all we're here for we want to make good quality content not like this channel this content sucks 
I'm, I'm surprised half of you guys watch this shit. Yeah, as always, guys, if you want to support the channel, uh, please consider becoming a Patreon or going ahead and, you know, using the Amazon links, as I stated earlier. Go ahead and uh, use the Amazon link to get the Amazon and shop as you normally would. Or if you're interested in one of the tools in the description, go ahead and do that. That's no different than if you were to shop on Amazon. I don't get anything extra because you used one of the tools. I just put those tools in there because they're good deals. And uh, you guys can possibly use them and get some use out of those. Those are just kind of like my recommendations. But that's all I got for this video. Thank you guys so much. To the haters, I love you guys too because you guys watch. So keep on watching. Simple as that. Um, but that's all I got. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hmm. Why the fuck won't this turn off? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm stupid.